you're using wearing what? Your phone. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. And today we're going to be getting into these new Florence glitters. But first off, I wanted to do a little update on my hair because if you guys missed yesterday's video, I did do a video over all of the new Drunk Elephant hair and body products. You'd think when we're on quarantine, I would hear less of that, but whatever yes i let my hair air dry i haven't styled it at all so all of this curliness is my natural hair and i do have naturally curly hair um when i was little i used to have ringlets my mom can testify uh and this has made my hair like super super curly so i'm really excited to see what it's gonna be like in a month from now from trying all of these products out for a month straight. Just a little update on that. Now let's get into Florence. So these are the Get Your Glow On Face and Body Glitters. There's two different shades. There's Angels Only and there's Sunset Island. They are a little bit deceiving on the website because initially I thought one was more pink and one was more yellow but one is more of a champagne and one is more of a kind of silvery white. If you guys can see that. I do have swatches that I'll get into in a little bit. These are $12 each. These are a bit chunky. It does say on the packaging, it says avoid contact with eyes. So, I don't know if I'm going to be putting it on my eyes, which is why I have pretty much all of my makeup on, but highlighter, because we're going to be putting glitter on our faces today. But now let's get into the swatches. So I did Sunset Island first, and then I put Angels Only on, and I did a swatch where it was more pigmented, and then the other one I just kind of patted it on. It does say on the packaging to swirl fingertips over glitter and glide onto high points of the face and body. And so I did do that. It is really chunky. Um, it's hard to tell. It looks like it would be pretty soft, but they're actually like putting your finger in here. You can feel all of the chunks. These are biodegradable glitters, which is good because, you know, you don't want a bunch of different glitters everywhere all over the world. But they are pretty chunky. I wish I had something to compare these to, but this is just both of them side by side, just like with me swirling my finger through it. So this one is the Sunset Island and this one is the Angels Only on my fingers. You can kind of see it better. This one is more silvery and this one is more of like a champagne-y color. They are pretty, but I would definitely advise against putting these on your eyes because these would definitely hurt a lot if you put them on your eyes and got them in your eyes. So now let's see what they look like on my skin. So I'm gonna take Sunset Island first and I'm doing the little swirling around. It does kind of hurt your finger to swirl it around. And then I'm just gonna pat this on my face. I've had so much glitter on my face these last couple of days. <laughs> I reviewed that Morphe palette and put glitter on my face for that palette. And now I'm putting glitter on my face for Florence, which I didn't really expect to do that, but you know. <laughs> so that's what sunset island looks like it does have a nice gold like shimmer to it and now for the other side we're doing angels only again swirling it into the pan let's see get away from my eyeball and these are kind of like a gel consistency like when you touch them they feel kind of wet they're not like a pressed glitter I mean they are but you know they're not like a dry formula and that's what 
angels only look like. I got it a little too close to my eye. Ooh, these are a little bit tricky to remove. I definitely suggest getting like a piece of tape and padding where you applied the glitter to remove most of it before taking your makeup off because these are pretty rough. I don't know if this, if you can see, but if you move your fingers around with it in between your fingers, you can feel like how rough of glitter these are and they're pretty big too. So what do I think of these? I think these are cool. I don't really think that you need both of these unless this is kind of like what you're going for. I mean, this is what I thought would look really pretty today, like a really neutral makeup, light makeup, and then you got glitter on your cheeks. I mean, it is fun if you go to like parties, festivals to have in your collection, but mm, mm, I don't know. I'm not a huge glitter fan. They do transfer on your face. So this is a clean finger. And if you touch your face, they are going to transfer off of whatever you have. So if you do wear your clothes and put it like on your collarbone or like your arms or your legs or something, it is gonna transfer on whatever you're using wearing. What? Your phone. Yes, the life of working at home. <laughs> oh goodness. But I mean, I think it's cool. I think the price is right. At least they're not like $20. But I mean, there's a lot of products that I feel like you could use that are going to benefit you a little bit more. I mean, if you're a diehard Florence fan, I do think that you're going to like these. I mean, they're really cute in this like packaging compact in the same packaging as like the blush but I mean there are products I feel like you could use and they're safer for your eyes and you can get more use out of them for example these this is a Stila woo, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and this is really pretty it looks like this but I mean, you can use this on your eyes. It's not as chunky, but you can still use it on your face as well. Like I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose to show you guys. So you can still get like the glittery look, but it doesn't have to, you know, you can put it on your face, on your body, get a lot of use out of it, but it's just not gonna be as chunky of a glitter. And this is in the shade Perlina, and you can use it on your eyes. So I'm gonna put a little bit right in the inner corner here. So honestly, if you're looking for something that's like a multi-purpose glitter product, I'd probably suggest the Stila products more than these. I mean, both of them are really pretty. It really depends on what you're looking for. I just don't feel like I'm gonna use this all over my face and before it goes bad because it is in this kind of gel cream formula so they do go bad faster than your typical like the stila eyeshadows and then you just gotta keep your eyes on it same with the cream blushes that you're just gonna have to keep your eyes on them to see if there's like any mold any discoloration if they start smelling weird i wish there were festivals going on I mean, without the virus thing going on, but like, I definitely feel very like hippie-ish today. Like, I mean, with the natural wavy hair, I got glitter on my face. So I'm very, you know, <laughs> Fleetwood Mac vibes. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you guys think of these in the comments down below. And if you guys missed my six month makeup review on the Florence by Mills products. I'll have that video right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here. Click on it and subscribe to my channel.